Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Mr. Kungus here, and um, this is pre-recording of um, like my QB2 gameplay I had on, on my hard drive, and I forgot to record my mic. <laughs> but um, anyway, this is KB2. I do have some. I should do snippets of like the KB85 and the SU85. Now. I'm currently trying to grind for the IS-1. If you have no idea what, what, what the IS-1 is, it's pretty much what it uh, says. It's just a John Stalin 1 tank. Uh, it has 85 mil gun, but um, it has sort of better armor and doesn't get one shot in a matter of 10 seconds by everything as other this tier. Now, I'm trying to... I'm trying to keep... I'm trying to keep the, the left lane covered, but um, I'm also trying to help out, um, keep the fighting going, and I get hit once. But, um, hand seconds. <coughs> but the one thing I really want to talk about mainly in this video is, um, the IS line. If, if anyone has like it, does anyone like it, or like it in general? Um, is it a good choice? The do I should should I get it one like because I'm already grinding to get one currently right now I just need like eight thousand more um, lines to get to, to to get it and I think about I think about getting it I think I, mean, I think about buying it and going to to like, to like the next one should I get this one and grind for a different one I don't know maybe um, but the is my my favorite tank in the world is the is one um, second to the uh, into the Sherman M4, um, so the M4A4 variant. Um, that's that's my favorite Sherman, and um, my favorite tank is got to be um, like in the entire world. Like anything else, will have to be the the T20. So the T62. That's my favorite tank ever. Like ever. Um, my th my third favorite would be the T72. I like really weird. Uh, I like Kobe tar d d d designs. There is some like weird like uh, frame bugs. Like like it's like laggy bug things that happens in this game. Like you will be driving, but you aren't driving. You ram into this wall. It's really weird. But um, but yeah, like. I like really weird designs. I, I really, I really, actually, I really like crappy tanks. Really, I, I love the, um, I, I like the Yak, the the Yak 15. I did like the Yak uh, uh, nines until they got a buff and stuff because they were, they, they were terrible. I did like the P80, but now I do not because now it's been, been been buffed, so I do not like it anymore. You might think, oh no, that's 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 unfair. You don't like good 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 plans. I do like good good plans. I do like the P47. I do like stuff like that. But I do like crappy plans better because like I can do better in those, and people just you don't expect those in the air as often. Um, one being the Fokker with 200 now, and also the uh, doors, like the doors seven, like two 17s, because everyone everyone thinks they're when you get to 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 the ME410. They just get, um, they just are not there anymore. They just get left behind, and I like using the door um, two seventeens because, like, when you get a kill in one of those, it's so satisfying because, like, when you kill someone, you're killing them because, like, like say like the N one, sorry, so like N two that has like um, has like the four twenty millimeter cannons on the top of it. It's meant to kill the 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 bombers, but um. You can also use it as like a, like an uh, like an offensive weapon. Like if you're diving, the plane's coming towards you. you. You can like shoot, and you can actually kill them. I've killed two guys by doing that. Not on camera, but unfortunately. But it's really it's really fun. Um, I do like um, shooting. I like I love using the uh, um, that sort of that that type of plane. And this tank gets lucky. Because there's, there's actually two tanks, like two Panzer IVs chilling around this spot, and goddamn Russian um, gun to like gun elevation 
this one was slightly, if it turns slightly, I could save this guy a lot more faster. But this guy does live until the teletub, but everyone dies. I actually lose this game, unfortunately, but... We all were like, ah, oh, well, next game, maybe. But yeah, that's won't, it won't, it won't be a next game for me. And this guy runs away. I'm thinking, okay, so maybe he'll just go there. Actually, if I, he actually drives... Uh, like, as I'm doing that, he's actually on the other, on the other side. I think it's the exact same guy. Like, I don't know how he, how he, how he got there, but... Oh, uh, well, there's no one gonna... He's not gonna, gonna, gonna be alive for very much longer. And... Boom. He's dead. Yeah, he, he actually thought he was, um... Actually, his, his, his gun was out, and I still... Panther 2s can still kill you, even though if, if, if your gun's not out, they can detract you and then they can just chill there. I get artillery on me. Better on because this is, this is, this is an ammo, uh, like, this is an ammo rack, um, for sure. Same, and also a fuel ammo rack as well, because the fuel is on, on the side. If you, if shrapnel goes underneath your tank and, it, and and hits the fuel underneath your, your tank, well, good luck, and... I'll see you next time because that, this tank will explode. Same as every single KV design era tank will explode. And, um, also, also the early IS um, line on the line is also very flammable. <laughs> you can say, but but like I do. But one thing I do like um, about like the IS one is people just over exas over judge right over the. Uh, I'm like over the tank because one thing it does have against it is the fact that its fuel is sitting right underneath, so it fuel is sitting right next to the uh, driver. So if you amarack, so if you hit in its like yeah, that sort of, of thing. Like if you're driving, it will will make it teleport you somewhere else, but you're not actually driving because the things are driving there, but it really not. It's something to do with like the frame issues, but yeah, like like. When you when you when you hit the, like when you hit the uh, the armor on the um, IS one, you, you're thinking, oh, this is unpenetrable. But but when you get a tiger and you shoot shoot in the front, like you're like, yes, I killed a tiger. This thing's overpowered. It really isn't. Is like this tank is not overpowered whatsoever. It's just simply it is that good that people over exact people over ex. Um, like over exaggerate over this, over, like over this, this, this tank. And this guy lives to see another day. Unfortunately, my gun, the gun, the actual round velocity is so slow. <laughs> but good luck hitting anything. But yeah, this is the thing. Like people just think, oh, you're using the KV2, you like that's so overpowered. It's like you're using a howitzer. Of course, it's gonna 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 be overpowered. And my bombs get. I release my bombs. Like, don't need these anymore. Bombs are tumbling out of of, of my aircraft, and I actually do 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 like that. The bombs, like, you, and if you're diving, you can release your, your bombs, and they can just fall out of, of your canopy. And I did not see this gonna happen. I shoot my gun, unwearing that there's enemy right behind me. A KB85. It's like some chassis as me, um, but. The, but his he I got I have a I have a nastier gun than him. I can one shot him. He can one shot me as well, because if he aims for, for for my lower if he aims for my lower glacius, he um he can actually amarack me. He can almost amarack me in my turret as well. Um, but this I'm like please don't see me. Please don't see me. And he doesn't actually see me. He he's just chilling there, minding his own business. I fire my main gun. And a Panzer II is right behind me. <laughs> I'm in shit squeak now. But yeah, that's the thing. Like people believe that oh, the IS-1, so like the KV-2 is overpowered. It's you're using a howitzer, and it's a one of it's a 152 howitzer. And by the way, if you guys didn't know this, I actually had to figure. I actually had to quickly route. I actually figure. I actually found this out. Uh, there was actually IS-2s that had the one that had the 152 a gun on it. Say so it didn't go very well. 
um, turrets came off, like tracks. If you, if like they said, if you fire more than one round um, in this tank, like like the actual the rivets would come out of of the actual tank or the actual bolt, sorry, would actually start to unscrew. So when they tried on the on the IS3, it actually worked better because it was it was more hold. I mean, it was more. Um, I don't know what, what what was different about it, but it made it a lot more harder to for for the gun to well come off and to the root. Um, also, the bolts didn't fall out of, of the actual tank. But another thing is like the um, the the RS3. It was it it, it, it was um, it was a better design over the RS3. It was the the the, the RS2 was meant to counteract the KV um, over it and was a, was a, was meant to counteract the Tiger ones. So, so it was meant to counteract the 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 Tiger twos. The IS three was meant to counteract the the, the um, Tiger one well, one and five because there's because there's word over in Russia that the Russians we the Germans were using one one and five mil guns. So on their tanks, so they had to quickly figure out a better way to, to knock out these tanks. Plus, the IS three was going to be was also going to counteract the uh, um. Um, over the um, Tiger, so um, over the Tiger 2 anyway. So really, it's like a is a is a jaw down for the Germans. The IS-4 was meant to counteract the mouse, because Russians had had where the they, uh, there was a mouse design and they needed something to knock it out. And the IS and the IS-4 was never ever put into service. The IS-3 was limit like, saw limited service in in World War Two, a little bit in the eastern and and a lot on the uh, Asian front. Like uh, the Russian and the um, and the Japanese border, so yay lose lose for the Japanese. It wasn't an, and I got hit again. But yeah, this is this is the limited time you actually can see it. My uh, time using the KV85. I actually will bring out more KV85 gameplay because this thing I do I actually love the KV85. Um, this is this that that is a good tank. Um, it's a brilliant tank. It's it has the it doesn't have the armor, but it's not like you don't use it for the armor, you use it for its gun and for its long range cap cap capability and we get small trapped because <laughs> one pan because the Panzer 4 that was hang on so <clears throat> the Panzer 4 that was actually killing us all was spawn trapping us <laughs> he was dedicated to spawn trap us like yeah I'm gonna use my uh like I see him on the map that's how I Steam Plus, also he's shooting at me with his machine gun, so like okay. Who do that? Me shoot you. And I get a hit. I kill his driver. <laughs> he can't move anywhere, but I get bombed anyway. I could actually s I'm like survive, but well bombs make make a bigger boom than a shell. But oh well. That pretty much that that that, that match was over. Five pounds killed it. Trying to check. Oh, who's next? No one. Everyone else is dead. <laughs> but yeah, this is to. But pretty much this is pretty much over, guys. If you want to like and subscribe, you can. Um, I'll be putting a link down below to my um, room total war. I just finished. Um, I'm. I've. That's happening. <laughs> if you guys want to see my my room total war game, um, my let's play, I'll put a link down below down below to my actual. Uh, my my let's play and also to my uh um <laughs> what else ciao for now bye guys bye <laughs>